Worthy to be praised, hallelujah. As the songwriter says, What a friend we have in Jesus! Hallelujah. All our sins and griefs to bear. What a privilege to carry everything, not just something, but everything to God in prayer. Hallelujah. 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 What a privilege it is this morning. Hallelujah. To carry everything to the Lord in prayer. Hallelujah. Bless his name. Hallelujah. Magnify his wonderful name. Hallelujah. For he is worthy to be praised. Hallelujah. Oh, Father, we bless you this morning. We welcome you in the sanctuary, oh God. We welcome you into our lives, my God. We are not our home, my God. We belong to you, oh God. And as we lift our hearts and our voice to worship you this morning, my God, I pray that you will take residence, my God. Take full control, my God. Hallelujah. Blend the voices together. Blend the hands together as we magnify the Lord this morning. For he is worthy to be praised. He's an awesome God. He's a wonderful God. He's a mighty God. Hallelujah. And he's worthy to be praised. Hallelujah. Bless his name. Hallelujah. Magnify his name with me this morning. Morning, hallelujah. Jesus, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Jesus, hallelujah. Hallelujah. My God. My Jesus, my Savior, Lord, there is none like you. My comfort, my shelter, tower of refuge and strength. Let every breath, all that I am, never cease to worship. Shout to the Lord of the earth, let us sing. Power and majesty brings to the King. Mountains bow down and the sea will roar at the sound of Joy of the words of your 
today glory to god hallelujah hallelujah we bless his name hallelujah 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 jesus hallelujah 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 you are worthy hallelujah take control hallelujah hallelujah we bless your name hallelujah we magnify you oh god hallelujah thank you jesus hallelujah come let's magnify the lord for he is worthy to be praised come let's magnify the lord for he is worthy to be praised hosanna blessed be the rock blessed be the rock of my salvation Hosanna blessed be the rock blessed be the rock of my salvation come let's magnify the Lord for he is worthy to be praised come let's magnify the Lord for he is worthy to be praised Hosanna oh blessed be the rock blessed be the 
rock of my salvation. Oh, Santa, blessed be the rock. Blessed be the rock of my salvation. Come, let's magnify the Lord. For he is worthy to be praised. Come, let's magnify the Lord. For he is worthy to be praised. Hosanna, oh Jesus is a rock. Jesus is the rock of my salvation. Hosanna, oh Jesus is the rock. Jesus is the rock of my salvation. Hosanna, Jesus is the rock. Jesus is the rock of my salvation. Oh, Sana. Jesus is the rock. Jesus is the rock of my salvation. Do you know the Lord is keeping you? Why worry about? If you know the Lord is keeping you, why won't you sing and shout? Glory, hallelujah, praise his name. Every day will be the same. If you know the Lord is keeping you, why worry about? If you know the Lord is keeping you, why worry about? If you know the Lord is keeping you, why won't you sing and shout? Oh, glory, hallelujah, praise his name. Every day was just the same. If you know the Lord is keeping you, why worry about? If you know the Lord is keeping you, why worry about? If you know the Lord is keeping you. Why won't you sing and shout? Oh, glory, hallelujah, praise his name. Every day is just the same. If you know the Lord is keeping you, why worry about? Hallelujah. Born, born, born again. Thank God I'm born again. Born, born, Thank God I'm born again. I am born of the water, the spirit and the blood. Thank God I'm born again. Born, born, born again. Thank God I'm born again. Born, born, born again. Thank God I'm born again. I am born of the water, the spirit and the blood. Thank God I'm born again. I am born of the water, the spirit and the blood. Thank God I'm born again. Fire, fire, fire. Fire fall on me. Fire, fire, fire. Fire fall on me. Like the day of Pentecost. Fire fall on me like the day of plenty fall. Fire fall on me. Fire, fire, fire. Fire fall on me. Fire, fire, fire. Fire fall on me. 
like the day of Pentecost, fire fall on me. Like the day of Pentecost, fire fall on me. Fire, 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 fire fall on me. Fire, 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 fire fall on me. Like the day of Pentecost, fire fall on me. Like the day of Pentecost, fire fall on me. Fire, 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 fire fall on me. Fire, 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 fire fall on me. Like the day of Pentecost, fire fall on me. Like the day of Pentecost, fire fall on me. Like the day of Pentecost, fire fall on me. Hallelujah. 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 This is wonderful name. Hallelujah. This is wonderful name. Hallelujah. Jesus, we welcome and we magnify you. Hallelujah to the Lamb that was slain. Hallelujah. You are Emmanuel. Hallelujah. You are God of all gods. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, Lord. Hallelujah. Glory to your name. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah, anyhow. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah, anyhow. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, Jesus. There's just something about the name. Hallelujah. Jesus. Hallelujah. We bless the Lord. Hallelujah. For we were created to worship his name. We were created to magnify him. Hallelujah. Despite what happening around us. Hallelujah. We ought to praise the Lord. Lord, hallelujah. We are to bless his wonderful name. Hallelujah. Jesus, we bless you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, Jesus. I'm a new creation. I'm a brand new man. All things are passed away. I'm born again. More than a conqueror, that's who I am. I'm a new creation, I'm a brand new man, I'm a new creation, I'm a brand new man. All oh, things are passed away. I'm born again. More than a conqueror. Yes, who I am. I'm a new creation. I'm a brand new man. I'm a new creation. I'm a brand new man. Oh, things are passing. Oh, I'm born again. That's who I am. I'm a new creation. I'm a brand new man. I'm a new creation. I'm a brand new man. All things are passed away. I'm born again. That's who I am. I'm a new creation. 
creation of a brand new man. Do you believe that today? Glory. I'm a new creation. I'm a brand new man. Holy. I'm going to pass away. I'm born again. More than a conqueror. That's who I am. I'm a new creation. I'm a brand new man. I'm a new creation. I'm a brand new man. All things are passed away. I'm born again. More than a conqueror. That's who I am. I'm a new creation. I'm a brand new man. I'm a new creation. I'm a brand new man. Hallelujah. All things are passed away. I'm born again. More than a conqueror. That's who I am. I'm a new creation. I'm a brand new man. Things are passed away. I'm born again. More than a conqueror. That's who I am. I'm a new creation. I'm a brand new man. Hallelujah. Come on and bless the Lord if you're a brand new man. Hallelujah. You're a new creation in Christ. Hallelujah. We are born again. Hallelujah. Those whole things are passed away. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We are more than conquerors. Hallelujah. 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 Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord, for that's who I am. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Jesus. Hallelujah. We serve a true and living God. Hallelujah. He faint not. Hallelujah. He's not weary. Hallelujah. He promised to strengthen the weak. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. That's who we are. Hallelujah. And that's who we serve. Hallelujah. So when we get weak, we look to the one who gives us strength, hallelujah, the God, the Father, the everlasting Father, the Prince of Peace, hallelujah, the strong tower, hallelujah, my comforter, hallelujah, my shield, hallelujah, my strong tower, hallelujah, hallelujah, Jesus, hallelujah, we don't know who we serve, hallelujah, we serve the one who is the first, Hallelujah. We serve the one who is the last. Hallelujah. There is no king above him. Hallelujah. There is none before him. Hallelujah. King shall bow at the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Oh, we bless you, Jesus. We magnify your name. We give you all, all today, my God. We belong to you, Jesus. Take full control. Oh my God, my life is not my own, my God. Help me to walk in your precepts, hallelujah. Help me to hear your voice, hallelujah. Jesus, hallelujah. I call you today, my God. I call you today, hallelujah. I call you, Jesus. My God. I'm not even worthy to stand here and call your name. But I ask for your forgiveness. Accept me, my God. I belong to you, Jesus. 
us. We belong to you. And we praise you. We bless you. We give you thanks. And we honor you this day. For this is the day that you have made. Hallelujah. And we will rejoice and be glad in it. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We bless his name. Hallelujah. 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 All hail King Jesus. Oh, hail Emmanuel. King of kings, Lord of lords, bright morning stars. And throughout eternity, I'll sing His praises, and forevermore I will reign with Him. All hail, King Jesus! Hallelujah, hallelujah, 
Hallelujah. Glory to your name, oh God. We bless your name, oh God. Oh, we magnify your name this morning. For there is not like unto you this morning. Oh, we thank you, my God. It's not of the good that we have done, but it's because of your grace and your mercy this morning. That's your grace and your mercy that brought us this far, my God. We thank you, Lord God. We lift up your name on high because there is not like unto you this morning. I know I've searched all over. Couldn't find nobody. Nobody greater than you, my God. Nobody greater than you, my Jesus. My God, you sent your only begotten Son so that he might, we might have life and have life more abundantly. But my God, we are not grateful. We do not appreciate the work that you have done for us, my God. But oh God, I pray that you forgive us this morning. Forgive us of our trespasses, my God. Oh, we thank you this morning oh god hallelujah we're here to lift you up on high this morning we're here to magnify your name my god hallelujah for there's none like you this morning glory to god there's none like you this morning, my God. All that we have ever needed this morning. All that we have ever needed in life, my God. Your hands are provided. And for that, we are grateful for your faithfulness, my God. We are grateful unto you, oh God. Hallelujah. Oh, glory to God. You lift us up from the miry clay. And you have placed us on a rock to stay, my God. Oh, hallelujah. Thank you for saving our souls, my God. This morning thank you for keeping us my god hallelujah thank you jesus glory if it had not been for you on our side my god where would have we been this morning hallelujah glory to god hallelujah hallelujah thank you jesus we magnify your name we lift up your name we thank you for making us a new creation this morning thank you for making us brand new men and women my god because all things are passed away my god and all things are become new all things are passed away my god and all things have become new because we've been washed with your blood my god in the name of jesus glory to God hallelujah thank you Jesus thank you for forgiving us of our trespasses thank you for forgiving us of our sins thank you for forgiving us of our ways my God in the name of Jesus when we have erred away from your presence my God you still has been with us my God you still care for us my God you still lift us up my God hallelujah and for that we are grateful thank you Jesus hallelujah glory to God hallelujah we're gonna sing this prayer song enter my chamber and then we're all gonna look to the lord in prayer glory to god because i don't know what he's done for you but he sure has done a whole lot for me this week not even talking about throughout my life but just through the course of this week alone glory to god hallelujah hallelujah Enter my chamber, be free, Holy Spirit. Speak to me gently as I close the door. Heavenly lover. Let thy presence cover Shekinah on in thee Is all I long for Enter my chamber Be free, oh Holy Spirit, speak to me gently as I close the door. Heavenly lover, let 
thy praises cover, Shekinah, holy in his all I long for. Softly as we usher him in, enter my chamber. Be free, Holy Spirit, speak to me gently as I close the door. Heavenly lover, let I pray. This covenant, Shekinah, holy day, is all I long for. Shekinah, holy day, is all I long for. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. We magnify your name. We lift you up on high this morning. Oh, we thank you, my God, for this is the day which you have made. And as we enter into it, oh God, help us to rejoice and be glad. Let us come before we with thanksgiving. Let's come before you with a song. Let's come before you with praise in our mouth this morning. Oh God, we are grateful unto you, oh God. We bless your name. We thank you, oh God, for saving our souls this morning morning we give you thanks for all that you have done my god it's not of the good that we have done my god but because oh god you saw so fit oh god that you needed us to be in your kingdom this morning my god oh we thank you this morning oh god as we continue to bless your name my god this morning i pray for you to for your anointing to be upon us this morning as we come oh god to put praise and thanksgiving in our mouth i pray that you'll be in this this place my God and curfew it my God from the front entrance to the back door my God in the name of Jesus that your presence be felt among us this morning in the name of Jesus my God oh God I pray for each and every one who is in this place for those that are on their way my God and even for those who don't think they're gonna be here those that are on zoom my God and those who are on Facebook live oh God we thank you for them my God speak to their hearts this morning my God in the name of Jesus, that when this service is over, they'll not be the same as they entered, oh God, in the name of Jesus. My God, I thank you, oh God, for what you're doing in our lives. I thank you for what you continue to do, my God. Hallelujah, Jesus. Oh my God, for some it may not seem but no, as nothing. I may not seem as much, but my God, you we know that we are grateful to you, oh God. Hallelujah, Jesus. Oh God, I pray right now for our leaders, my God, in the name of Jesus, that you'll touch them from the crown of their heads to the soles of their feet, my God, that you'll continue to bless them and give them wisdom, my God, continue to use them for your service and according to your wisdom, my God, that which you have seen for them, my God, in the name of Jesus, my God, I pray for the one who will bring the word today, that, oh God, whatsoever it is that is set forth, my God, it'll go forth, uh, piercing and dividing asunder, oh God, and setting for the truth, uh, and, oh God, that the word will not go back the same way it came, my God, in the name of Jesus, uh, oh, we give you thanks my God give that one that's going to bring the word strength uh, courage my God oh God I pray I li you lift that one up in your hand my God in the name of Jesus uh, oh thank you my God oh we give you thanks for those who are away oh God on vacation are not here today oh God we pray that you continue to guide them oh God lift them my God and have mercy upon them be merciful unto them my God bring them back safe unto us my God in the name of Jesus uh, oh God we thank you we bless your name we we give you honor. We give you all the glory. We give you all the praise, my God, because we all belong unto you, my God. Oh God, for you say when the praises go up, uh, and then the blessings are gonna come down. My God, we can't praise you enough for all that you have done for us. Uh, we can't praise you enough for all that you're about to do for us. Uh, oh my God, in the name of Jesus, if we only open our eyes and see, my God, see.
see what you have done for us and see what you are about to do not in the natural my God but see through the spiritual eye my God we'll be in awe we'll be amazed and we thank you my God we bless your name we give you thanks this morning in Jesus name hallelujah thank you Jesus glory to God hallelujah and while we're standing glory to God we're just going to turn our Bibles to 1st Thessalonians 5 and we're going to read together hallelujah thank you Jesus thank you Jesus 1st Thessalonians 5 but of the times and the seasons, brethren, ye have no need that I write unto you. For yourselves know perfectly that the day of the Lord is cometh as a thief in the night. For when they shall say, peace and safety, then sudden destruction cometh upon them. As travail upon a woman with child, and they shall not escape. But ye, brethren, are not in darkness that that day should overtake you, you as a thief. Ye are all the children of light and the children of the day. We are not of the night nor of darkness. Therefore, let us not sleep as do others, but let us watch and be sober. For they that sleep, sleep in the night, and they that be drunken are drunken in the night. But let us who are of the day be sober, putting on the breastplate of faith and love and for an helmet, the hope of salvation. For God hath not appointed us to wrath, but to obtain salvation by our Lord Jesus Christ, who died for us, that what, whether we wake or sleep, we should live together with him. Wherefore, comfort ourselves together and edify one another, even as also ye do. And we beseech you, brethren to know them which labor among you and are over you in the lord and admonishing you and to esteem them very highly in love for their work's sake and be at peace among yourselves now we exhort you brethren warn them that are unruly comfort the feeble-minded support the weak and be patient with towards all men See that none render evil for evil unto any man, but ever follow that which is good, but among yourselves and to all men. Rejoice evermore, pray without ceasing, in everything give thanks, for this is the will of God in Christ Jesus concerning you. Quench not the spirit, despise not prophesying, prove all things, Hold fast that which is good. Abstain from all appearance of evil. And the very God of peace sanctify you wholly. And I pray God you, your whole spirit and soul and body be preserved blameless unto the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ. Faithful is he that calleth you who also will do it. Brethren, pray for us. Greet all the brethren with a holy kiss. I charge you by the Lord that this epistle be read unto all the holy brethren. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with you. Amen. Glory to God. Hallelujah. 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 Thank you, God, for your word. Hallelujah. Here endeth the portions of God's holy word. We honor it by saying glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Ghost. As it was in the beginning, it's now and ever shall be world without end amen glory to god hallelujah thank you jesus i just want to take this opportunity to uh welcome our pastor pastor trevor l rankin and minister yvonne c rankin in her absence glory to god you may be seated for a moment at this time i want to take the opportunity to welcome each and every one of you that are here glory to god you could have been other worlds minded or elsewhere but you saw it fit to be in the house of the lord or you saw it fit to be in our service this morning glory to god i also welcome our zoom audience 
and our Facebook Live audience this morning. And I thank God for you. Glory to God. For you too could have been elsewhere and have other things doing as opposed to being in the house of God with us. But God is good. He is great. He is merciful and his truth endure it to all generation. Glory to God. And he said that we ought to come and to praise him. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. We just want to welcome back um, Mother Clark, Sister Davis, and her family back from coming back. Glory to God from their vacation. And I hope you guys had a stellar time. Glory to God. Hallelujah. You know, this is a season where people go away and come but you know so we give God thanks that he has allowed us the opportunity Thank to you. live and to be able to go elsewhere glory to God our hymn for today is hymn 447 higher ground hymn 447 Higher ground. I'm pressing on the upward way. New heights I'm gaining every day. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. I'm pressing on the upward way. New heights I'm gaining every day. Still praying as I onward bound, Lord, plant my feet on higher ground. Lord, lift me up and let me set my faith on Him. Oh, hi. 
Lord, at my feet on higher ground. I want to live above the world. So Satan starts at me or for faith has called the joyful sound, the song of saints on higher ground. Lord, lift me up and let me stand. My faith on it, let's say the On higher ground, Lord, lift me up and let me stand by faith on Him. Hallelujah, hallelujah, thank you, Jesus, glory to God. It says, I'm pressing on the upward way. New heights I'm gaining every day. Still praying as I onward bound. Lord, plant my feet on higher ground. That should be your prayer. Glory to God because a lot of times Satan is hur hurling his darts at us. We don't even know where it's coming from. It's coming left, right, center. Sometimes we don't even have time to rest before the other one hit. But God is with us. Glory to God. We just have to pray that he'll bring us and take us to higher ground that will pass all the tests. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Because everything is a test, my God. And one time, every time you go and you go further and you beat this one and you beat that is another step higher. It's a one rung higher. We climb to the Lord and climb to heaven. Glory to God. So we ought to be thankful and this song should be our prayer. It should be our aim, my God, to reach the higher ground for God. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Sometimes you take two steps up and you still you fall back four steps, but you just have to get up and go again because the devil is adamant that he wants you, but God needs you more. Glory to God. He brought us here that we might have life and have it more abundantly and that we ought to save, serve him. We ought to praise him. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Thank Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. At this time, our pastor is going to come with the pastoral prayer. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Amen. It is a wonderful thing to be free from sin and to have Christ within. When we think about where we are coming from, when we look back on that journey, we have to thank him day by day. I don't know how many of you are doing that, but whenever time you look back on where God took you from, what you used to be involved in, what you used to, have, what you used to do, even to your own family, to yourself, let's put it like that, what you used to do to yourself, each time you remember those things that you used to do that you can't do again, what you should do? Thank God for that because he's the one who took you out. If you were down as a poor person, don't leave anywhere and somebody sees you and said, you know, I have seen you quite a few while and I've been thinking of you and I'm going to help you. What is your problem? You lost your job, you have no money. That's why you have to sleep on the street. That's why you have to sleep in under the pazer. That's why you have to sleep with people home. And that person said, okay, I'm going to take you out of that situation. I'm going to 
get a place for you to live. And this is your place. And the person, when you realize the person took you out from where you are and placed you someplace where you can have warm water, cool, warm thing in the winter and cool place in the summer and food on your table. What do you do when somebody have done that to you? What do you do daily? Thank God for that person. That person took you out of poverty and put you on a place wherein you can live and go among people without being ashamed. Get up in the morning. You know what to eat. Think about that. That person is good to you. I have seen it happen. I've seen a guy was on the street, live under shelter, live under bridge. And a man saw him. The guy used to have a good job. He was an expert. But something went wrong. And he fell away from society. Fall away. And that man took him. And sent him back. And gave him a place to live. Took him out of that dungeon. And he got a job. I saw him on the TV. Got a job. And believe I didn't know he was educated. And he was able to TV even call him back and say, we need to hear from you. What happened, what happened to you? Where you were? He told them his story. But if that can happen, somebody can do that for you. Look at the man who took you out of the miry clay, out of sin, condemnation, death, and give you peace. I was reading about the gift of God yesterday. The gift of God is eternal life. But we do not see that. We do not recognize him as our savior and our king. We just go to church and we go when we feel like going. We don't have a commitment. Let me tell you, from the moment I got saved, I decided that I'm going to do what I used to do for the boss. I'm going to do it for Christ because he calls me out of sin to show him that I love him. To show him that I care for what he have done for me. He died on the cross. For each and every one of us. So let us recognize him as our savior. Our king. It doesn't matter what happened to you. Where you have been. If he took you out. He placed you back on the rock where you can stand. And where you can deliver his word. So don't take God's work for granted. Because when he comes, if you are not ready, I was reading that yesterday. He said, depart from me. I know you're not. Do you know that? I'm not, I should never be going to this, but since I'm on that, do you know that? A Christian is not going to judge with the unsaved. Who first is going to hear the voice of Christ? When he calls, the sinner can't hear him. When he take the Christians away and then we call again, they will hear. I was reading about it. The voice of the Lord, we have to recognize it. So if he calls to come, only those that are ready will hear him. You who fail and die in sin will never hear until he's ready to call for you. Then you're going to hear him. That I am the people are gone home to be with Jesus Christ. Coming to church is wonderful. I just want to say this briefly. Coming to church is great. Going to school is good. I hope every kid listen to this. But if you go to school and just waste time, yeah. you're not going to make it. Yeah. If you depend on your parents one day, they might go before you even reach the age of 15. So many kids lost their parents when they were 12. 10 parents died some didn't know their, kid, their parents I know a guy who didn't know his father you have never seen him he died before he recognized his father don't take it for granted you have to understand that you're sent to school to be educated and you have to take your education seriously because you're not going to have your mother at home to provide for you you may end up under the shelter or people home. Your older parents, grandparents might die. Your aunt may die. Your uncle 
You have nobody like I'm the only brother left in my family. Up to yesterday, I was thinking about it. And I thank God. My younger brother, he died. They killed him. My older brother died the other day. He died because he got stroke and he got sick. And he never speak again. You don't understand what God is doing in your life. You have to understand and recognize him before anything happens. If you do not recognize it, if you keep thinking about your failure, you'll never make it through. If you're thinking about you are not bright enough, you will never be bright. You will never be educated. You have to say, I am not bright. I'm not really smart, but I can. I can. I can. There's a lot of people who could not read even they were in it 30. And because they learn, they become better. And they are, have good jobs today. Young people, older folks, remember Jesus is our protector. He's our leader. He is our savior. And it is not a game being a Christian. It's not just come to church. It's to have a home relationship with Christ. It's to have a street relationship with Christ. I not even plan was to say this, but you know, something happened to me in the gym. You have to know, you know, I tell the people, you have to trust God. And I realized that every day you experience the power of God in your life. I was in the gym and I went to the bathroom and I did, I saw a, a pipe broke and I know a guy worked there. I don't know if he was on drugs, what will happen to him? But when you trust God, when you pray, say, Lord, lead me into your righteousness. Mm. It means that you have to have his righteousness in you. And I said to the guy, this pipe is not good. Something wrong with it. That's all I said. Calmly. And he start to hear some bad word. And God said, just relax. Watch him, but just relax. Don't say a word more. You hear what he said? But I mean, they didn't know that talk. God talked to me. He said, if you open your mouth, I fist you down. And he hold his fist. And he walk up closer to me. And a voice said to me, that's a good opportunity. You can block that hand quickly. Because when you come close, you can't fist a man that hard. And I stand up. And he swear. And he did everything. And I just look at him, watching his hand. Watching the other guy who stand there and then the other guy who came and said, what's going on? I didn't answer until when he was finished, he left. And when, and I was, when I went to finish, I said, Lord, what happened? Because I asked you to be quiet and be cool and you did. Because I will do it. Let me tell you something. When God said he will do the job for you, don't try to try to do it. If you try to do it, he will back off. But if you keep quiet, as he said, he will not back off. He will protect you. And he will tell you exactly what to do. He said, don't move a muscle. Just stand and watch. And I keep my eyes on him and his hands. Until he swear and he did everything bad before he finished. And I came to him and said, he must be under some drugs. I know him in the gym, quiet guy. I said, must be under some drugs. And everybody was shocked, said something wrong with him. So I wait until I went outside and I called the boss and I said, something wrong with that guy. He didn't tell you. He said, yeah, he told me. And I was wondering what happened. I said, something wrong with him. So let me tell you something. The devil has people under control. It doesn't matter how educated they may be, they can act up. So we have to know who we are. Who are we? Follower of Jesus Christ. Yes. Savior, servant of the Lord God Almighty. And we have to obey him in spirit and in truth. Just to keep a time. But Jesus Christ is saying to us, for you to walk in my will, you have to change your ways. You have to be humble. You have to, you have to feel embarrassment and let the glory of me flow into your life. When people embarrass you and put you down as if you have no strength, no idea of nothing, he says, 
only be quiet and watch me and you will understand many people die today because they figure that they have the strength and they should act it doesn't work i prove that i learned a lesson i learned a lesson first i'm saying it to anybody apart from dr jim i explained first i said something is wrong and i saw him because the lord said don't pass without saying hello and i say hi and he said hi how are you but you know what you do with people like that you say hello to them but that's it that's it because you don't know what is going on in their mind if they are in drugs what is happening to them but if you live at the place where christ wants you to be you're going to be that person so keep that belief they are strong let me tell you people say you are strong but this is what happened i go to when i'm going to the gym you know what i do i get down on my knees and i say lord i am in your care i need your help because i cannot do it without you so people say you're strong you're strong ment physically mentally but you're not strong spiritually so for you to be protected you have to talk to him so every day i get up i prayed and i asked god to take me safely there and give me the strength and the ability to do what i need to do some people are surprised how you live like that but they don't know there's not mental things that not just human things is god trust if you trust yourself you're not going to do what you're supposed to do i'm telling everybody even if you're educated and you know what to do i was studying and i said people who just come up and read the word of god because they can what read it doesn't work it has no effect reading is not in effect of christ when it comes to god's work you have to ask him to guide you and when you get something when you get the bible to read let me tell you something don't take it as a granted don't because you can't read you're going to say oh, i can't read i don't need to take it up until tomorrow when i'm going to church some some kid i watch them i watch them here and i hear them and i said you know they didn't read the bible they just take it up because they can read and read because there's nothing coming from it education not helping christ it helps when you are obedient to him so reading the bible has nothing to do with the answer of christ's power in you when you read it and trust him and pray if you get a verse or a scripture to read in the church you look into it and you read it and you pray and you ask god to help you to deliver it and when you are delivering it people can feel it because god gives you the power but when you just read it that's just reading but you have to realize when it comes to god work you have to pray read pray read until your time comes to deliver i do the same thing with my music i say lord i don't know what to do i need you to help me every day i'm not a guy who just take up things and say i have the ability no i don't so when people are going to play with me they have to understand they might say something wrong with the I always give the problem no because i talk to the lord and he direct me exactly what to do so god's work is not a plaything it's serious i've seen happen to too much too many ministers they think because they have it and they have education they have, can do it and they can preach it doesn't work it doesn't work you can't save nobody it doesn't matter how powerful you are you can't save nobody everybody is saved by christ so when you are going to preach you have to read the word you have to pray and ask god to deliver help you to deliver the word let it reach the hearts of those that you are preaching to so i just said briefly said that I, I i didn't want to go that far but before i prayed i just wanted to know so we come to church and we think it's just a fun it's not a game it's a serious thing and that's why my method of coming to church and doing god's work is different you might see me sit quietly i'm listening to him and i'm waiting on him we have to learn to wait on the lord what is the day that what shall what they shall mount up with what like what they shall run walk so what do we do say teach me lord 
you see what I'm saying? Doesn't matter how fast you are, you have to pray. As much as Bolt is so fast, I watch him and he feel hung down in it. Do you know they are praying? They are sinners, but they are praying because they know God is an almighty, powerful God. Although they don't know you're not hearing them because he said the only time he's going to hear your prayer. Listen to this. The only time God is going to hear your prayer is when you are saved, if you're praying for something. When you ask God to provide a car for you and you're not saved, he's not hearing your word. Only thing he wants to hear is what? Repentance. If you are not saved, the only thing God wants to hear is a repentant prayer. You could pray till Jesus comes. Somebody in your family praying for you. But how did I get a guy told me? But God answered. I said, no, he didn't. He hear your grandmother prayer. And your grandmother asked him. And that's why you get what you get. Your mother asked him. And that's why you get what you get. So a lot of kids don't realize it. They said, I'm praying. I tell my daughter, if you want anything from you, you have to go talk to the Lord about it first. Don't ask me. Because he has to provide for me to give to you. And when you ask him, if he will hear you before she backslide, I said, you ask him, but no, I don't tell her that. I have to pray and ask God to help me to help her. So you see, the, the, the power of God, don't depend on the Lord that you say you can ask him. No, it, it's not a game. It's not like your mother, not your father. You disrespect your mother and then you try to friendly and go back and say, mommy, can I have a dollar? Can I have a ten dollar? Can I have a hundred dollars? And you're so disrespectful. Well, I told my daughter it won't happen like that. If you disrespect me, don't ask me for anything. If you disrespect God, you're not going to hear from him. Father, we thank you for your blessedness. Thank you for your peace. Thank you for your salvation. Thank you for your kindness. Thank you for your loving, warm, and gently hands that you have placed over my life day by day. In spite of what happened in my past, I thank you for your guidance. Thank you for your touch. Thank you for your deliverance. Thank you for your leading. Thank you for the Holy Spirit that you have given unto us and given unto me to, for me to follow. Day by day, you minister to my life. Day by day, you allow things to happen and show me how I can be obedient to you. Listen to you and listen to your voice instead of listening to mine. Let your will continue to be done in my life. I commit this moment in your care. I pray for the woman that is supposed to deliver your word today. I pray that you'll touch her in the name of the Father. Touch her in the name of the Son. Touch her in the name of the Holy Ghost. Touch her mind, O oh God. Feed her mind with your love. Feed her mind with your word of power and understanding. Your word of deliverance to deliver the hearts of those that are in sin, shame, and disgrace. You came into this world not because you want to come. Your father brought you into this world to die for us. So help us to realize that you came for sin. You came to take our sin upon yourself. So now you set us free. And you said all we need to do is to accept you and repent and to follow you in order to get to heaven. But we do not do that. We do our own thing. And when we fail, we still remain failing. But help us to realize, oh God, that you came, Jesus Christ came into this world for our sin. To take away the sins of our lives. To give, our free, to give us freedom. That when we died in his will, we will be going home to heaven. The spirit of Christ cannot die. The body will die. When this body died, this body is not coming back. You have a special body for us. Those that will be going to heaven, those that will be going to hell. A body that cannot burn completely to ashes. A body that can live into the glory of God without any failure, without getting older, without getting weak, without getting sick. Because there will be no sickness there. So we thank you for your loving kindness. Bless this service today and everyone that came today. Let your blessing be upon their lives. Speak to them, I pray. Use your woman servant in the name of the Father, the name of the Son, the name of the Holy Ghost, and the people of God say, Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Come on, let's bless the Lord. Thank you. Glory to God. Hallelujah.
Great is the Lord and greatly to be praised. Hallelujah. He has a word for us this morning. Glory to God. Hallelujah. And when we come to the house of the Lord, we must come expecting glory to God that we are going to get something. And um, at this moment, if you don't mind just resting on your feet for a moment with me as we welcome one of our own evangelists, Lavinia Bowman, as she come this morning to deliver the word to us. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Come on, give it up for Sister Lavinia. Hallelujah. Praise the name of Jesus. Glory. Come on, bless the name of Jesus. Let's magnify his name. Let's glorify him. Hallelujah. Let's praise him. Glory be to God. Let, ex let us exalt his name. Hallelujah. For he is worthy to be praised. He is worthy to be glorified. He is worthy to be lifted on high. Hallelujah. There is no God. Hallelujah. Like our King. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Come on. Bless the Lord somebody. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, Jesus. For this is the day which the Lord has made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. This is the day which the Lord has made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. 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 Glory be to God. Thank you, Jesus. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Thank you, from the merry clear, he planted my feet on the rocky sand, and that is the reason why I sing and I shout. My Savior came down, down, down and lifted me up. He lifted me up. He planted my feet on the rock to stay, and that is the reason why I sing and I shout. My favorite came down, 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 and lifted me up. He lifted me up from the mire clay. On the rock to say, and that is the reason why I sing and I shout. My Savior came down, 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 and lifted me up. He lifted me up from the mire clay. He planted my feet on the rock to stay. And that is the reason why I sing and I shout. My Savior came down, 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 and lifted me up. One more time. He lifted me up from the mire clay. He planted my feet on the swamp to stay. And that is the reason why I sing and I shout. My Savior came down, 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 and lifted me up. And that is the reason why I sing and I shout. My Jesus came down, 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 and lifted me up. And 
Praise God. And that is the reason why I sing and I shout. Christ Jesus came down. For Jesus left his home in splendor. He came down, 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 all the way down. Just so that I could be lifted up, my God. Just so that I can come out of the marriage. Hallelujah, Jesus. Oh, glory be to God. I give God thanks today that I'm bubbling over with joy. For the joy of the Lord is my strength. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I don't just have mere happiness. I'm not just uh, uh, rejoicing at a moment, uh, but I have joy unspeakable. Glory be to God, because Jesus Christ came down uh, and he lifted me up. Uh, so when I come through those doors, uh, my soul is rejoicing. Uh, oh, glory be to God, uh, for I've come before my king uh, to lift his name on high. Uh, for he said, if I be lifted up, uh, I will draw all Amen and Oh, I give God thanks that I can say, Bless the Lord, oh my soul, and all that is within me. Bless his holy name. I give God thanks that as long as I have breath, I can say with confidence, I will bless the Lord at all times. His praise shall continue to be in my mouth. Oh, I will praise him for he's worthy to be praised. He's worthy to to be glorified. He's worthy to be magnified. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. For if he hadn't done anything for me, just the thoughts, hallelujah, ah, that I have newness of life, just the thoughts, hallelujah, that when this eyes close on this earth, I'll be joined to the King, the Creator of heaven and earth. My God, my soul rejoice. My soul blesses me. That is the reason why I sing and I shout, glory be to God, hallelujah, 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 glory be to God, hallelujah, glory be to God. Sometimes, uh, sometimes as an onlooker, when I see those outside of Christ, uh, just singing and shouting and have a good time, having a good time sometimes I smile glory be to God and then I remember I, I smile because uh, they look like they're having a good time glory be to God oh but they're blinded they don't know that the real good time is in Jesus Christ glory be to God so you see when we come together whether we be two or three when we gather in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ we ought to sing and shout and test the fire. Glory be to God. We don't have to wait until we get over yonder. Let some people say, what's going on with them? What's wrong with them? Hallelujah. Why do they have to be so loud? I'm going to be loud for the King. For Jesus Christ has ransomed me. He set me free. I was destined, hallelujah, to be dead. Hallelujah. I was full of shame. Hallelujah. There was nothing good sound in this body hallelujah but Jesus rescued me he touched my mind hallelujah he gave me soundness of mind hallelujah somebody ought to shout this morning for soundness of mind because somebody is walking out there who's messed up in the mind who's bound hallelujah who's not set free but you are free you are free hallelujah hallelujah thank God God Almighty, hallelujah, I am free, no longer bound, no more chains holding me, hallelujah, because I used to hear the voice of the enemy way down inside, just speaking lies, hallelujah, but praise be to God, if you only understand how far I'm coming from, I gotta give God a praise, my God, I gotta bless his name, my God, I gotta magnify him. Him. Hallelujah! Because I no longer hear the voice of the enemy. I don't have to listen to him because I am free. Glory be to God. Hallelujah! 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 Thank you, 
Jesus. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. 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 Praise your name, O God. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Ah, I give God thanks and praise. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Ah, thank you, Jesus. Oh, glory be to God. Hallelujah. It gives me great joy to proclaim, hallelujah, to confess the word of the Lord God Almighty, hallelujah. For Isaiah 55, 10 and 11 says, For as the rain comes down and the snow from heaven and do not return there, but water the earth and make it bring forth and bud, that it may, be, may give seed to the sower and bread to the eater, so shall my word not not my words, not Lavinia's word, but God's word. Hallelujah. So shall my word be that goes from, forth from my mouth. It shall not return unto me void, but it shall accomplish what I please, and it shall prosper in the thing for which I sent it. Glory be to God. Father, we thank you for your word this morning. Your word is uh, powerful your word is blessed your word has been tried and tested and it is true uh, it breaks every york uh, it sets everyone free that will listen to your word my god uh, in your word we can find promises of everlasting life uh, for this day and the days to come uh, my god your word Word rescues hallelujah your word convicts hallelujah your word oh God quickens it makes us alive hallelujah and I thank you oh God and most importantly oh God your word is faithful because you are your word and you are faithful I give you thanks and praise this day I let self be slain everywhere in your presence oh let you you be lifted up, my God. You be glorified. Let every ear, every heart, oh God, I be tuned to you, my God, and have your will. Break my stony heart. Break our stony hearts, oh God. Uh, I decrease, oh God, and you increase. Uh, I give you glory. I give you honor, and I give you praise. Uh, bless the name of Jesus. You may be seated. Glory be to God. I thank God for this day. I give God thanks for this house, World Harvest Deliverance Center. Glory be to God. I thank God for our leaders, God's on the shepherd, our pastor, Reverend Trevor L. Rankin, and our assistant pastor, Minister Yvonne C. Rankin. Glory be to God. I bless the name of Jesus. It is a blessing to be here. Oh, glory be to God. As God would encourage us, he would encourage me in he would glory be to god uh choose a word to encourage you today and um i sit sometimes in my quiet moments and i reflect on, on what god is doing and i always promise myself glory be to god and i'm not gonna come and be loud i'm not gonna come and i'm not gonna shout you know because you want people to understand what you're saying you um, i'm not gonna be you know overly excited i'm gonna speak calmly and all of that but you know when you think of the goodness of jesus uh, only you know, only you alone, you're in that relationship with God. When you have an intimate relationship with God, when God has cut your life, when God has turned you around, my God, you can't sit quiet. Glory be to God. You just have to sing and shout and jump around. You don't have to wait until you get over yonder. And sometimes when I come into the house, I just want to have a good old party party before God hallelujah but I remember somebody needs to hear the word glory be to God hallelujah come on put your hands together and bless God 
Oh, bless the name of Jesus. Um, you know, in this season, God has been, you know, saying to us, he's been telling us, he's been whispering to us the power of God, the power of God. Ah, we're going to see the power of God. I've already witnessed the power of God in so many different ways. And God is just waiting for us to, to be ready to believe, <coughs> to comprehend. And this morning, I'd like to share with us <coughs> the power of God against confusion. The power of God against confusion. Praise God. Turn with me in your Bibles to John 8, 12. Thank you, Jesus. Glory be to God. The book of John chapter 8, verse 12. Praise God. Hallelujah. And John says, John likes to refer to himself as the disciple whom God loves. But praise God, God loves all of us as well, not just John. John said in John chapter 8, verse 12, Then spake Jesus again unto them. Seems as though Jesus was saying something before. Ah, he says, Then spake Jesus again unto them, saying, I am the light of the world. He that followeth me shall not walk in darkness, but shall have light of life. Let's read that together. Then spake Jesus again unto them, saying, I am the light of the world. He that followeth me shall not walk in darkness, but shall have the light of life. Praise God. Glory be to God. Ah, oh, the such blessed words we give God. Thanks for those words. So it was um, this week, as you know, you can see, those of you who can see, I wear glasses. And uh, my spectacles, they help me to see. And much of us, many of us, we do wear glasses. So um, this week, one of the days I was, as I was heading into the shower, I accidentally went into the shower with the glasses. I mean, I've attempted to shower with my glasses before, <laughs> um, just to see. But, um, you know, it's not a good idea. Uh, because you know it gets if especially if you take in a hot shower but i went into the to the to the shower with the glasses on and i'm like oh it looks so nice and crispy and bright in here i should do this i should really shower with the glasses and i decided you know no i'm not going to do that um so i need corrective lens to correct my vision when i I'm not wearing my glasses. I cannot see very far. I am nearsighted. I think they call that um, myopia, uh, if I remember clearly. I did a little research. And um, it, it's where you need to have that corrective lens pretty close to your face so you can see. So when I shower, um, I don't see. <laughs> very well you know you, I don't see whatever is there I see I see my body because it's close but if I'm to take my glasses off I can't recognize you it's very blurry and I remember the day that I was able to correctly uh, give the the, the doctor um, that that's okay that that is the right lens for me and it just everything was so nice and crispy oh i was a new person i can see everything glory be to god because you see um uh, with our vision god has created it in such a way that uh you have the light uh, it focuses and it has to hit uh, directly spot on on the retina for you to have 20 20 vision it can't stop short and it can't go past 
Oh, glory be to God. Hallelujah. Mine stopped short. Uh, so I need to have a little corrective lens to correct my, uh, my nearsightedness. Hallelujah. How many of you know that Jesus works as a sort of a corrective lens? Because, um, you see, when I'm without my glasses, I don't like it very much because uh, my eyes are blurry and there's a bit of a darkness. Uh, things are not as illuminated as much. They're they're not as bright glory be to God and those of you who understand you understand very well but when I put my glasses on I can see clearly I can see the little spot that's there that I missed when I was clean and glory be to God I can see clearly what needs to be corrected what should not be dear there glory be to God so that moment hallelujah when Jesus glory be to God offered me that gift of salvation and I accept it my God hallelujah my eyes were no longer dark in the spirit hallelujah God hallelujah when Jesus the son of God became my corrective lens he's my spectacle that I can see things well and I can understand glory be to God the power of God against confusion. Hallelujah. Jesus has removed the scales from my eyes and he removes the scales from your eyes when you accept him as your Lord and personal Savior. Glory be to God. When you call upon him. Hallelujah. Our first Thessalonians 5 was read today. And, and glory be to God. The prophet was reminding the brethren. Hallelujah. That letter that Paul wrote to the church oh glory be to God uh, hallelujah the Thessalonical church uh, my God uh, to remind them that you're no longer in darkness uh, but you are in the light so walk uh, as children of the light uh, not of darkness hallelujah so I give God thanks today hallelujah that I am walking in the light of Jesus Christ Amen. hallelujah He's removed the scales from my eyes. Hallelujah. And I can see clearly. I can see clearly. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. But, but, but when I look around me, I have a sort of a complaint. When I hear what is going on, there's a lot of noise uh, in this world. There's a lot of noise, a lot of voices. And everywhere you turn around, you hear a voice that claim to be true. Hallelujah. You hear a voice that claim. Hallelujah. That this is the way. No, 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 no. That's not the way. This is the way. Glory be to God. But I give God thanks. Hallelujah. For his power against confusion. That I don't have to listen to those voices because uh, my ear is attuned. Hallelujah. To the good shepherd. Uh, for he said, my sheep heard my voice uh, and another they will not follow. I give God thanks. Hallelujah. For the soundness of mine. Uh, hallelujah. The soundness of mine against the spirit of fear uh, the soundness of mine against oh God the voice of the enemy but when I look around I have a complaint there's darkness there's chaos and there's confusion in the world you're speaking your truth he's speaking his truth they are speaking their truth but what about the truth glory be to God hallelujah what about the truth contained in the gospel of Jesus Christ and when I look around I think as I'm pondering my God help this generation help the next generation because the previous generations has set up this generation uh, to be lost. Uh, we have to repent. The previous generations has trained uh, the generations after them to accept, hallelujah, that breaking, that wearing away of the truth so that this generation is lost. Our children are in trouble. Who is sharing the truth with them? I'm not talking about your truth, my truth. So I came across this documentary. I looked at it. It is quite interesting. Simple name, simple question, the documentary says. 
What is a woman? Uh, the content is disturbing. At points, the language is not good. But it just led me to step back and to say, good God of Zion, what is happening? What is happening? Ah, oh, my God, that no one knows the truth. And uh, the, 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 I don't know what you call him. Uh, the, the author of the documentary, the person conducting the documentary, he just, those he was interviewing, he said, you know, I'm just looking for the truth. And one of the, the interviewees said, um, that word is offensive to me. That word is offensive to me. Don't, don't mention. He said, but the truth, the truth. I, I want the truth. I want to No, I, I'm just here to ask the truth. No, the interview is over because you're, you're offending me. That word is very offensive. Since when the word truth is offensive? Oh, my God of mercy upon us. And, and I find that Psalm 12 uh, is appropriate for my prayer as I cry out unto God, the God who has the power over confusion. My, and I, and I, I lift up the psalm before God and I say, God, you got to help you have to help first. I, I cry for myself because I don't want to be confused. And then I, I cry for my loved ones and I cry for the children. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. And there's no new word that God has given us. He, he's still speaking to me the same word because it is the truth. And he's still speaking to you the same word because it is the truth. And he's commanding us to rise up uh, for, for Psalm 12 tells us glory be to God if you would turn in your Bibles hallelujah help Lord for the godly man sees it for the faithful fail from among the children of men they speak vanity foolishness foolishness oh god everyone with his neighbor with flattering lips and with a double heart do they speak uh, but the lord shall cut off all flattering lips it brings me great comfort and the thought and the tongue that speaketh proud things who have said with our tongue we will prevail our lips are our own who is lord over us for the oppression of the poor for the sighing of the needy now will i arise said the lord i will set him in safety from him that puffeth at him ah the words of the lord are pure words a silver tried in a furnace of earth purified seven times thou shalt keep them O lord thou shalt preserve them from this generation forever the wicked walk in every side when the vilest men are exalted ah i give god thanks that he is the, the powerful God, the omnipotent God, and he has power against confusion. But we have a part to play. We have a part to play. Hallelujah, Jesus. Because God reminds us, my God, uh, as he said, I'm, I'm going to say it again. I've been speaking for a while, but I'm going to say it again. Hallelujah. I am the light of the world. He that followeth me shall not walk in darkness, but shall have the light of life. Hallelujah. If you're walking in in darkness if you're confused and there's no hope in your bones if you have a oh, glory be to god a uh, uh, no knowledge of the truth uh, then you gotta run to god uh, for he is your corrective lens um, because confusion is bewilderment uh, everything is all jumbled up uh, it's made unclear uh, you mistake one thing for another this disconcert this ruffle this upset there's confusion but how many of you know that God is not an author of confusion hallelujah he uh, he is the author of salvation because confusion leads to worry and anxiety and when you have enough worry and you're uh, you're anxious of evermore uh, you become depressed depressed and disheartened downcast and you wanna 
silence the voices in your head ah yeah. uh, you're you're suicidal you're looking for things and comfort in the wrong place you're going down every path that someone promised you the truth glory be to god hallelujah. hebrews chapter 5 in hebrews chapter 5 god says hallelujah and being made perfect he became the author of eternal salvation unto all them that obey him uh, first corinthians 14 33 for god is not the author of confusion but of peace as in all churches of the saints uh, glory be to god uh, somebody ought to bless the lord god almighty so the first step that we have that prevents us from being confused is the willingness and the obe uh, yielding to obedience of accepting the lord jesus christ but god said something to those of us who are called sons and daughters of the most high god we've accepted the call from jesus christ hallelujah and as we cry out for help as i cry out for help against the darkness god says to us in first peter 1 verse 13 he says wherefore gird up the loins of your mind hallelujah that means you gotta be ready for action in your mind you have to be ready to take hold of every thought glory be to God lay them captive you gotta say oh you're not going any further than this glory be to God wherefore gird up the loins of your mind be sober be aware don't be drunken don't be drunken in this culture don't be drunken with what the world has to offer don't worry about who has what and what you don't have for you know the truth and god has set you hallelujah as in a time like this he's a saved you not only for yourself but for a particular purpose my god because he know the thoughts that he think towards you once you accept him glory be to god their thoughts of peace and not of evil evil to give you an expected end he said set your hope fully on the grace that will be brought to you at the revelation of jesus christ that unmerited favor that we have we think we're favored now but wait until jesus tries hallelujah comes back again wait until you go to meet your lord and personal savior so come on you gotta gird up your loins gird up the loins of your mind get ready for action hallelujah you're ready to jump glory be to god when the voice of the enemy just come into your house and you want to use your children to speak foolishness in your ears you gotta look that spirit in the eye hallelujah and you gotta say listen to me your devilish spirit my god said according to the word it is written my god my god for god hallelujah ah the power of god against confusion and the same power uh, that raised jesus from the dead the same power hallelujah that raised us uh, uh, from that deadness so glory be to god is the same power that lives in you every day as sons and daughters of the most high king uh, so come on get ready get ready uh, uh, set yourself hallelujah to be sober-minded to be vigilant to be watchful to be prayerful glory be to god there's some leaders that need to be prayed for hallelujah glory be to god hallelujah jesus ah uh, for he is the author of uh, eternal salvation my god and god has given us a set of safeguard against confusion because uh, if you don't settle yourself in the lord jesus christ if you don't do the things that god has called you to do if you don't uh, obey his commands hallelujah if you don't move forward and eat meat glory be to god and stop drinking milk uh, hallelujah will be confused uh, you will go away hallelujah like the chaff of the wind uh, or you won't be able to withstand any gust of wind uh, we read in the book
emotions this week. Ah, uh, you won't be able any trial that come as a gust of wind. You're gone. Hallelujah. But you gotta be strong. Um, you gotta be like that palm tree. Hallelujah. That when the winds of adversity come, uh, your very understanding. Ah, uh, uh, you understand the purpose that God created unto you. You understand that this is not your home. You understand, glory be to God, that though God may allow afflictions in the body, uh, though God may allow, hallelujah, afflictions in your finances, though you may lose all, hallelujah, glory be to God, you have the salvation. You have salvation and you have life. Also, oh, when the hurricane of, of trials come before you, when you get that bad news, hallelujah, or oh, you just sit and recline in God, you're joyous in God, you go before folks with a smile, hallelujah, you sing and shout, and you jump about, and when you need to cry, you cry, oh God, before the Lord God Almighty, you encourage someone next to you who needs it, glory be to God. Hallelujah. Mm. We have to surrender to the Lordship of Jesus Christ. Uh, we have to uh, listen to, to, to God's word. God didn't promise us uh, that we're going to dance through a uh, fields of daisy. God didn't promise us. Don't, don't, don't listen to anyone that say, but uh, you serve God and it's not the will of God that you should be suffering. My goodness, suffering. Uh, God uses suffering. Hallelujah. To bring us closer to him because we seldom remember God in the good times. Hallelujah. But you know, when uh, we're coming through and we need a thing, uh, you know, when you don't have any oranges and you want some oranges and uh, God send somebody with one orange before you. Your soul just magnify the Lord. Hallelujah. Because you wanted an orange. And here is an orange. Glory be to God. Oh Lord Jesus. Ah, oh, bless the name of Jesus. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You don't understand. You don't understand. Glory be to God. Because if you understood, hallelujah, you'll be acting like it. Hallelujah. Because everything that we need, God is our provider. We don't have to worry about tomorrow. Hallelujah. You need what you need to do what you need to do. And you say, God, I need X, Y, and Z. May I please have it? How are you look at it that little by little he's allowing you to accumulate it just for the purpose you say good God of Zion you are worthy Jesus mm. Jesus hallelujah glory be to God hallelujah hallelujah I'm thinking about uh, the man of God I'm thinking about um, Elijah glory be to God when there was a famine and, and God tell him to go by uh, the brook um, Kedron I think it was I'm, I'm not remembering uh, for sure right now and he said I prepared I'm gonna uh, let some raven feed you, feed you glory be to God and can you imagine that raven is bringing your bread and your meat a raven ah not just stories in the word of God God has commanded us to worship only him oh, we ought to worship only God hallelujah Jesus glory be to God for Isaiah 45 verse 16 tells us they shall be ashamed and also confounded all of them uh, they shall go to confusion together that are makers of idols you see we become confused when we have all sorts of idols when we put people and places and things before the only true and living God when we have our minds set on the things of this world we become messed up and confused uh, everything doesn't uh, sound the same uh, everything doesn't go the way it needs to go we turn around and the more that we worship the things of this world is the more in trouble we find ourselves glory be to God Thank you, Jesus. 
And if we look at verse 17 of Isaiah 45, uh, God said, but Israel shall be saved in the Lord. You shall be saved in the Lord with an everlasting salvation. You shall not be shamed nor confounded. World without end. Glory be to God. For thus said the Lord that created the heavens, God himself that formed the earth and made it. He had established it. He created it not not in vain. He didn't create this earth without purpose. My God, he formed it to be inhabited. I am the Lord and there is none else. So therefore we ought to worship him and worship him. Glory be to God, only him. He said, I have not spoken in secret in a dark place of the earth. I said unto the seed of Jacob, seek ye me in vain. Hallelujah. God didn't say that. Uh, when we seek the Lord with all our heart, he said he will be found of him. He said, I the Lord speak righteousness. I declare things that are right. So you want to know what is right and what is wrong. Uh, you look to God and God only. He said, assemble yourselves and come God is calling us come draw near together come ye that are escaped of the nations come they have no knowledge that set up the wood of their graven image the things that you're using are uh, you mixing a little bit of this with a little bit of that uh, theology from here there and everywhere and you have a much potch of everything you got a little bit of Judaism a little Buddhism a little new age uh, a little witchcraft and all these things nothing will work. He says, come. Come. Because these graven image, the angels that you pray to, Gabriel can't protect you. Ah, he doesn't want to be worshipped. My God, my God, Michael doesn't want to be glorified. Hallelujah. He is sure about who God is and he only glorify the true and living God. And you pray unto God that cannot save. They have no eyes to see. Ah, they have no ears to hear, no hands to outstretch. God says, come. Come. Come unto me. All ye that labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. He says, I learn of me, for I am meek and lowly in heart. He said, Take my yoke all upon you, for my yoke is easy and my burden is light. Hallelujah. You see that yoke when you think of the oxen. Hallelujah. And for them to do the work, glory be to God. It's two of them, and they have this wooden structure around their neck to guide them, uh, to, to, to constrain them and lead them in the way that they need to do to do the work hallelujah when we're in darkness we're being controlled we have the yoke of heaviness of sin upon us oh, but when we come to God as he calls upon us and we come hallelujah we answer that call we are set free I'd rather be a slave to God than to a slave to the enemy there's no choosing there's no middleman either you are a slave to righteousness or you're a slave to ungodliness you say I don't worship Worship the devil, but do you worship God? If you don't worship God, you are a devil worshiper. Praise God. Luke 10 27 and he Jesus uh, said, Thou shalt love the Lord thy God with all thy heart and with all thy soul and with all thy mind and thy neighbor as thyself. Glory be to God. We got to love only God. Uh, we have to, the, the, the second glory be to God, safeguard against falling into the trap, into the snare of confusion, is you have to depend on God. We have to seek God's assistance for everything that we do. We have to ask for his guidance for every uh, decision, every way that we want to go. We have to ask God. We have to trust his authority and his wisdom. Praise be to God. 
Proverbs 3, verse 5 to 7, trust in the Lord with all thine heart and lean not unto thine own understanding. In all thy ways acknowledge him. And he shall do what? Direct thy path. Ah, oh, glory be to God. When I'm trusting on Jesus as being that, ah, uh, my closest friend, my confident, my guide, my corrective lens, glory be to God. I don't have to lean on my own understanding. I don't have to worry if I'm going the right way. I just know that I hear his voice. I don't have to look behind me. I don't have to look to the right or to the left, for I hear a voice leading me in the path that I should go. Uh, that freedom to know, hallelujah, that you're making the right choice and the right decision. Hallelujah. Be not wise in thine own eyes. Fear the Lord and depart from evil. See the experts around our time this day, they know what's good for our children and they know what's right. Hallelujah. And they come into our house through their theories and uh, through their doctrines and they tell you you shouldn't do this and you shouldn't do that. Glory be to God. But what does the word of God says? Hallelujah. What does the word of God tells us? The word of God tells us that we ought to train up our child. Hallelujah. In the fear and admonition of God. Train him and her up in the way that she should go. Because that training will outlast you. That seed will outlast you. It's not your seed, my God. It's the Lord's planting. Hallelujah. And just at the right time, it will spring up. I once heard it said that um, in a radio program I was listening to the something that every Christian should make sure their child go to a Christian school. And if you're not able to do so, I'm putting my part in. If you're not able to do so, you have to make sure that you are present to, to train your child, to feed your child with the truth because you don't know what they're telling them. You think you know. They don't tell you everything. You'd be surprised what they're telling the little children. You'd be very surprised. You'd be angry. But the Spirit of God gives us discernment. The Spirit of God will guide us and lift up a standard within us when the enemy comes in like a flood. And we will get that holy boldness. And we will rise up and we will do what God would instruct us to do. Yes. You only have them around for a short period of time. And then they must make their own decision and decide for themselves what they're going to listen to. If they're going to listen to the voice of uh, the enemy, of the lies of the enemy, or they're going to listen to the voice of truth, the voice of God. But you have to do your part. I have to do my part. We have to do our part to make sure that they know the truth and they receive the truth and everything else after then is left up to God. I give God thanks. I give God thanks for the, 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 the moment that he led my parents to let me go to be raised by my grandmother. Ah, oh, it's the best decision ever. It's the best decision ever. Glory be to God. Uh, we have to be sensitive to the leading of the Holy Spirit. John 16, 13 tells us, How be it when he... The spirit of truth is come. He will guide you into all truth. Not some truth. Not halfway truth. But all truth. For he shall not speak of himself. But whatsoever he shall hear. That shall he speak. And he will show you things to come. God will show us things to come. He's already shown us the things to come. And the third, the third safeguard against the spirit of confusion is prayer. It's talking to God. Talk to Jesus. Uh, I'm, I'm reading this book where this book that is written by Derek Prince and 
um, his wife Ruth Prince. And Ruth said in her part, she does not speak to anyone when she wakes up in the morning unless she talks to her God first. And I say, oh, I have to do that. You know, sometimes you get up and you turn on, you, you look at the phone, what time is it? And you see a notification, you see a text and you want to read the text. That's speaking to someone else. You didn't talk to God. You say, oh, good morning. How are you today? Thank you so much. You opened my eyes. You know, it, it's a little bit dark, but I can see clearly. Oh, you don't say, what would you have me today? You don't say, I just need your guidance. I give you the rest of the day. And then after you read that text and you read that notification and you go, oh, let me see. Oh, really? That's what's happening? And then you go on and you go further. And before you you know half an hour pass an hour pass two hours pass and then you say oh I have to do my devotion now you didn't talk to God you didn't talk to God the first thing we have to talk to God the first thing in the morning and the last thing at night Oh, Matthew, when, when we talk to him, we ask him for wisdom. Glory be to God. We ask him, God, give me wisdom. James 1 verse 5 said, if any of you lack wisdom, let him ask of God that give it to all men. How? How does he give to all men? Liberally. Liberally. And upbraided not. He doesn't scold you for asking for wisdom. And it shall be given him. And if you look at 6, it says, But let him ask in faith. You have to believe. Not wavering. Don't doubt. For he that wavereth, he that doubts, is like a wave of the sea driven by the wind and tossed. For let not that man think that he shall receive anything of the Lord. A double-minded man is unstable in all his ways. Glory be to God. And uh, we say that we, that, that, that we love the Lord. And we don't say hi to God first thing in the morning. Uh, Matthew 7, 7 says, Ask and it shall be given. Seek, and ye shall find. Knock, and it shall be opened unto you. For everyone that asketh, receive it. And he that seeketh, find it. And to him that knocketh, it shall be opened according to the will of God. According to the will of God. I just love the first time I heard that song all in his hand. I put it all in his hand. I just love the song all in his hand because um, it says um, every question. If you have a question, he has the answer to every question. So when I have my questions, I go to God. I say, how come? It doesn't matter. How come? How come? I misplace something, believe it or not. I say, God, can you help me to find it? He helps me to find it. He helps me to find it every single time. I believe I can safely say that. I'm trying to think if there's a time I'm looking for something that I haven't found it. I may not find it right there and then. You know, I remember one thing that I was looking for. I found it 10 years after. <laughs> I found it. <laughs> I give God thanks for that. Glory be to God. Philippians 4 tells us, Be careful for nothing, but in everything, by prayer and supplication, verse 6, with thanksgiving, do what? Let your requests be made known unto God, and the peace of God, which passeth all understanding, shall keep your hearts and minds through Christ Jesus. Hallelujah. And then when we go on to verse 8, hallelujah, there's something that we, uh, specific that we have to do to guard your mind and to, to, to have that safeguard to protect you from uh, the snare of confusion. It's finally, yes, brethren, Whatever things are true, you have to feed the spirit man because you see when at that moment of salvation, 
God placed a new spirit in us. You still have the old, the old one in there. The old one is still there. You don't believe me? Stop feeding the, 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 the new one and see what happens. You stop meditating on the word of God. You stop um, uh, praying. You stop coming to church and see what happened. That old man, don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do it. Believe those who say so. I'm not going to try. I believe it's Dr. Charles Daniel. Someone said that um, they, they did an experiment and they went a week without praying. And they said they would never do that again to see what will happen. Can you imagine you go a week without praying? You feel bad when you go a week without, you, when, you, when you go a day without talking to God. You know, you, you may sometimes you wake up and you're late and you rush. And, you know, you just find that you're all just bothered in your spirit, you're angry, you're like, what happened? And then you remember, I didn't, I didn't meet with God today. I didn't read the word. I didn't talk to God. I didn't listen to him. I did none of that today. And what do you do? As soon as you have a moment, you get together with God and you ask for forgiveness and you do that. It says, finally, brethren, whatsoever things are true, Whatsoever things are honest, whatsoever things are just, whatsoever things are lovely, whatsoever things are of good report, if there be any virtue, and if there be any praise, think on these things. You know, as adults, we, don't, we, we can't say what's wrong with the young people. We should never say that. What's wrong with the boy? What's wrong with her? What's wrong with, with them? Do you think they're, 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 they're feeding their minds with things that are true? Do you think they're honestly doing that? Do you think that they're feeding their mind with whatsoever things are honest? And whatsoever things are just? And whatsoever things are lovely? You'd be surprised what they're feeding themselves on. And they've become more and more callous and they have no heart and you wonder, you have no conscience. No, they have no conscience. They're not saved. No, they have no conscience. No, they cannot think about the next person. And then we have to go further. Have you done your job? Have you done your job to help them to think about the next individual? Have you done your job to go forward and, and to teach them those lessons, glory be to God, in practical ways? Hallelujah. Have you done your job in showing them selflessness? Do they know how to give up self? Do you take them on volunteer experiences? Do you show them how to take care of the neighbor that is homebound or the family member that cannot leave the room? Do you stop to do all of that? If you do, the seeds will, will spring up forth. Do you ensure, even though they're kicking and screaming, do you keep speaking the word in the hearing? Because I'm telling you, it's seeping in there and it will come out. It will come out. Uh, yesterday, it was last night, um, I believe my neighbor, one of my neighbors, they're having a celebration. And oh, some old time song came up and I say, oh, Lord, because the song, you know, who knows the song is, the song is downloaded in me <laughs> forever. I say, oh, Lord, do I have to go through the entire time that I'm doing my business over here, hearing all of that, all the old songs? So you know what I did? Thank God for those thingy majiggies that you plug your ears. Yeah. I plugged my ears and I put on the word of God and I feasted on it and I heard, you know, songs. I got a new church or something. And I started to dance and praise the Lord and I forgot about that. So if your granny keep uh, praying Psalm 23 over you and uh, your mother keep repeating the same verse, the same verse over you, repeating it, repeating it, repeating it, what do you think happens? It's going to be stuck. It's going to be stuck in you. Sometimes they will say, I know what you're going to say. Uh, what, what is the one that Mrs. Bear would drill in them when she was Miss Lewis about fools? Malika used to say, I know, he that walk it. Yes. <laughs> yes. 
but a companion of fools shall be destroyed. That thing will always stick with them. Glory be to God. Uh, and we have to understand that we have to know the truth. After we spend time with God, we have communed with God, we have to know the truth. We have to believe the word of God. John 8 verse 31 and 32 said, Then said Jesus to those Jews which believed on him, If ye continue in my word, then ye are my disciples indeed. And ye shall know the truth. And the truth shall do what? set you free glory be to god hallelujah it's a, a mental freedom a freedom in your heart glory be to god isaiah 64 verse 4 said for since the beginning of the world men have not heard nor perceived by the ear neither had the eyes seen oh god besides thee what he had prepared for him that waited for him hallelujah when you know the truth and you're resting in the truth and you are faithful that's the fourth uh, safeguard against confusion you are faithful you are waiting on god you're never leaving off of following him my god can you begin to continue see what God says he will do for those hallelujah that wait upon him wait upon the Lord be of good courage and he shall strengthen thine heart wait I say on the Lord my God Almighty we have to be a fixed glory be to God we have to be steady firm regular reliable unyielding glory be to God hallelujah we have to seek God's assistance and then we have to wait on him uh, you're being faithful you're doing it hallelujah you're 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 not reneging on your responsibility you're not growing tired hallelujah you're not turning your back on god hallelujah for first corinthians 50 verse 58 said therefore my beloved brethren be ye steadfast unmovable always abounding in the work of the lord uh, for as much as you know that your labor is not in vain in the Lord if you're not doing the work of the Lord you're doing the work of the devil hallelujah so God is saying to us as his sons and daughter he said I Isaiah 60 verse 1 he says come on arise shine glory be to God for thy light is come and the glory of the Lord is risen upon thee arise shine you are the light of the world. Glory be to God. God said, I see that set on a hill cannot be hid. Glory be to God. You are the salt. Hallelujah. You have to retain your savor. Hallelujah. What is the answer to this confusion that in this darkness going around uh, all around us? It is steadfastness in Christ. How do you safeguard yourself? You have to do your work. You have to gird up your loins. Hallelujah. Of your mind. You have to be ready for action. You have to seek the, the, the Lord God Almighty while he may be found. You have to stand sure on your, on your salvation. You have to depend on God and you have to pray. You have to know the truth. Memorize it. Set it in your heart. Follow it. Do what it says to do. And you have to be faithful. Glory be to God. And then you will be able to shine and you will find where you're going. One of the times that we went to on our, our prison visit, I happened to, they made me drive back. And it, it was in the winter and that road was dark. This is not as bad as the, the tree house darkness, but it's dark. And um, we couldn't, they were telling me what to do to, to put on um, the, the fog lights. Is that it? Yes, yeah, the high beams. There you go. Um, and somehow I put it on and it wouldn't stay. And, and, and Brother Blair is telling me what to do. And I'm doing what he says. I don't understand. We can't pull off the road. Uh, and, and there's nothing. And I'm, 
I'm peering and, and think, can it stick, Lord? Please, let it stick. And I can't get it to stay on. And I keep it keeps flashing on and off. And you can't see in front of you. My God, that was scary. And the road was not straight. It was kind of windy. And every time someone was coming, I'm like, yes, yes, I can see a little further when someone is coming with their lights. Hallelujah. But, but there came that moment when I figured out how to make it stay on. Uh, you can't be on and off. You can't be wishy-washy where God is concerned. You're up today and you're down tomorrow. You have to be steadfast. Glory be to God. For God tells us in John 1 verses 4 to 5, In him was life, and the life was the light of men. Either you're saved and you're walking in light, or you're not saved and you're walking in darkness. And the light shineth in darkness, and the darkness comprehended it not. You see, the darkness couldn't overpower it. As long as I figured out how to keep that, that, that high beam on, uh, the darkness didn't overpower me. Uh, there was a little bit more more uh, safety. I was a little bit more at ease and I can at least see a little way in front of me. I was someone who was coming along passing me. I was even more at ease because those two lights together shone even brighter. Glory be to God. Uh, you see, darkness can never overpower light. Uh, if the light stays on, it is lit. Uh, glory be to God if you stay steadfast in Christ uh, and shine bright for the Lord Jesus Christ. Confused cannot take you over. You cannot be lost. You will always have soundness of mind. Guard yourself in the Lord. Feed the spirit man and the spirit man only. Hallelujah. Be wary of those teachers. Be wary of those contrary voices. Know your Bible. Hallelujah. Have a personal relationship with God. Have a little talk with Jesus. Tell him all about your problems. Ah, He's going to see you through. He's going to lead you on that straight and narrow path. Uh, don't be afraid to ask him those difficult questions, my God. Yeah, glory to God. My oh, God. Thank you, Jesus. And then, finally, God led me to Proverbs 2. The answer. Proverbs 2. Instruction. He said, my son, if thou will receive my words, and hide my commandments in thee. Glory to God. So that thou incline thine ear to wisdom and apply thy heart to understanding. For if thou criest after knowledge and liftest up thy voice for understanding, if thou seekest her as silver and searchest for her as for hid treasure, ah, wisdom, then shalt thou understand the fear of the Lord. Then should you know how to reverence God. Then shall you know how to stand in awe of God. Hallelujah. And find the knowledge of God. For the Lord giveth wisdom, out of his mouth cometh knowledge and understanding. For the Lord giveth wisdom, out of his mouth cometh knowledge and understanding. I'm going to add this way, for the Lord giveth truth, hallelujah. He layeth up sound wisdom for the righteous. He is a buckler to them that walk uprightly. He keepeth the paths of judgment and preserveth the way of his sinners. Then shall thou understand righteousness and judgment and equity. Yea, every good path, when wisdom entereth in thine heart, and knowledge is pleasant unto thy soul, discretion shall preserve thee. Everything is not going to be acceptable to you. Everything is not going to be welcomed by you. You're going to exercise discretion. Hallelujah. Understanding is what is going to keep you. To deliver thee from the way of the evil man. From the man that speaketh forward things. Who leaves the paths of uprightness. To walk in the way of darkness. Who does that? 
who rejoice to do evil and delight in the foreignness of the wicked. Ah, that evil man does that. Whose ways are crooked and they're forward in their paths to deliver thee from the strange woman, even the stranger which flattereth with her words, which forsaketh the guide of her youth and forgetteth the covenant of her God, for her house inclineth unto death and her paths unto death. None that go unto her return again, neither take thy hold of the paths of life, that thou mayest walk in the way of good men and keep the paths of righteousness. For the upright shall dwell in the land and the perfect shall remain in it but the wicked shall be cut off from the earth and the transgressors shall be rooted out of it oh bless the name of Jesus and finally I want to share a little thought from Matthew Henry on John 8 12 uh, about Jesus being the light as he said again hallelujah he's the light uh, Matthew Henry said it is not enough to look at the light it is not enough to gaze upon it but we must follow it and walk in it for a light to our feet the word of god is a lamp unto our feet and a light unto our path it's not only for our eyes uh, he says follow christ and we shall follow him to heaven he is our guide come and i will show you the way god says follow me i am the way the truth and the life no man cometh to the father but by me praise the name of jesus let us stand there was a friend that i was speaking to a few a couple years back and somehow in the conversation i can't remember what i was saying but he stopped me and i and and he said let me guess jesus is the way the truth and the life and he smirked and i said yes but there is a sadness that filled my heart and every time i'm haunted by those words for those words that he spoke were not genuine words that he believed it was a a, a, a snidish comment he has to say you really believe that and if you don't if he does not accept the lord if he does not believe that jesus is a light if he does not believe that he is the way the truth and the life my god ah uh, he will never know the truth uh that lie will take him to hell Glory be to God, and I implore you today as Christians, as God has given you special assignments as the priest of your home, as a, a, the, the light in your community, I implore you to stay rooted and grounded and near to the feet of Jesus. Stay at the feet of Jesus. Sit there, linger there. Hallelujah. Do what God would have you to do because your light, hallelujah, would dispel the darkness. God has given you special people for uh, as your assignments. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And you need to do that fighting, that work in prayer. And as you pray, you're fighting in the spirit, you're standing. And then you need to go and share the love of Jesus Christ with others. And to those of us who are joining, those of us who are with us just worshiping today, we're worshiping. Those of us who are just uh, the spectators, glory be to God. Uh, you better, you better get in the ship. You better listen to God. You better get on that lit path. You better uh, heed that call that Jesus says, "Come to me, follow me." You better answer it today because your tomorrow may be up. Uh, maybe today is your tomorrow. Maybe you have no other tomorrow. Glory be to God. Don't play Russian rule with your soul and with your salvation glory be to God for 
confusion and darkness only leads to more confusion and darkness. So those of us who are saved right now, I, I want us to uh, be serious at this time. And I want us, glory be to God, to just uh, thank God. I want you to thank God for dispelling the darkness, for the soundness of mind, for coming against confusion. And I want to lift up, I want you to lift up that person that you're thinking about, that person that comes to mind and you only wish that they would see the light and, and not just look at the light, not just gaze at the light, but they would uh, follow the light and follow Jesus all the way to heaven. Glory be to God. And when you've done that, after you've done those things, I want you to... Uh, just to, to celebrate Jesus. I want you to burst out in uncontrollable praise. Glory be to God. Hallelujah, Jesus. Uh, that when the enemy came, oh God, and tried to tell me, Lord, it's a God, that there will never be any answer to any of my prayers. My God, when he came, oh Lord, and hallelujah, and Satan tried, oh God, to tell me that you will not hear me, that you will not deliver me. I thank you that you heard me, and you delivered me. I thank you, oh God, that you touched my mind. My God, and you didn't even more than touch my mind, you touched my body. I thank you that you became my soul companion and friend. I thank you, O oh God, that you deliver me from darkness, that you are my God. My God, I lift up, O oh God, to you for you right now in the mighty name of Jesus. Oh, break that stony heart before you right now, O oh God. Help him, O oh God, to heal your heart. My God, I feel like you are I pray, oh God, that somehow, oh God, in the drought that's going on in their soul, my God, that you will really allow that plant to come forward. Let that word, oh God, rise up, my God, and shout louder than it's never shouted before. Oh God, I pray that they will accept you, oh God. Oh, release them right now in the mighty name of Jesus. Oh God, for you know that we've done our job. We've given them the word, oh God. You promise that your word is powerful. It's sharper than any two-edged sword. Do it again. Oh, we want to hear, oh God, a sweet sound of salvation coming into every home represented here. Oh God, we want to hear, oh God, shut is deliverance. We want to hear of Abel's deliverance. We're going to hear, oh God, of Jermaine and then Melissa's deliverance. We're going to hear, oh God, of Justin's deliverance. We want to hear of Shalene's deliverance right now in the mighty name of Jesus. We want to hear, oh God, of Kimoya's deliverance, my God, right now. Because they need to share with the other generation, oh God, about your goodness. We want to hear, oh God, oh, hallelujah, about Nehemiah's deliverance right now. We want to hear, oh God, hallelujah, and see the deliverance of Sherry, oh God, in the mighty name of Jesus and Prince. Right now, release them in the mighty name of Jesus. Oh, release them, release them right now. Oh, God, we want to celebrate about your goodness. It's been over a decade, oh, God, and we've been begging you. We've been asking you, oh, God, bring your mind to our right mind right now. Oh, God, we thank you, oh, God. We want to hear, oh, God, in the poor deliverance, my God. We want to hear, oh, God, hallelujah, my God. Ah, oh, hallelujah, my God.
Amen, amen. Said to God be the glory. Great things he has done. Thank you, Jesus. So love he the world that he gave us his son. Want to thank God for Sister Lovina today, who has brought this word to us. And one of the things he said, We are the light. Once you accept Jesus Christ, he plugged that light into you. And what that means. And she brought it out on the vehicle driving on the road. If you can't see where you're going, 
you're in trouble. Either you pull off and parked, unless you can see. I used to do that as a driver. Whenever time the road is bleaky, like a snow or, or the fog, you can't see, the way is not clear. It's very, very hard to drive, especially heavy duty. So when you are driving, there are things that you can do that a skilled driver knows to do, is to turn your bright light on if somebody has a bright light on you and he will blink and when he blink you can blink yours and turn down your light but if you have a dull light and he has a bright light do not look into the light look down on the ground where you can see the way but keep your eyes on the light but not directly in the light and you'll be able to make it through. If not, pull over. So Jesus Christ said, he has shined the light in our lives and for us to shine that light daily. So when you have Jesus Christ into your life, you have to shine that light. What it means, it doesn't mean you just shine when you come to church or shine when you have no problem. You shine at all times, that's why you have the light. So you are saved it means you have the true light of Christ into your life. And there are things that you don't want to go through. But if you are saved, you will have to understand, you will have to go through it. If you do not go through it, you're not living for him. What, look at what Jesus went through. He went through chaos for us. You know why? The only reason why he came into this world as us and took upon to sin on himself the only reason why Jesus came into this world and took our sin is to avoid us from go through the suffering and the pain and the agony and to hang on a cross because we could not do that so he took he was holy he was perfect but he took our sin upon himself and he died for us why you think his soul is not easy to get to heaven because of the suffering that he went through so you have to understand we have to live at the place where he wants us to live that's why i said to god be the glory great things he has done he says so love he the world that he gave us his only begotten son and his name is jesus as whosoever believe in him should not perish but have everlasting life you will not perish but you will have life everlasting. We want to thank God for Sister Lovina today. And as God used her to minister to us. When you come to church and you come to minister, come to do something, and you look at the crowd, if you do that, the devil is going to place in you that it says you can't do what you're supposed to do. That's wrong. It doesn't matter. If it's two or three or one person I have, I preach the same way if I have a hundred people. We have to do what God wants us to do. Some people are away, some people are at work. It work that, that's how it works at all times. There are not all times, at sometimes. Sometimes you have a full place. And that is when you want to preach. It doesn't matter when you are preaching, as long as you are preaching to people that are hearing you and can change and can have an impact in their lives that they can be new again. That's what we need to do. Put Christ first. If we put him first, we will do everything right. So we thank God for those of you that are here and we are happy that you are here today and we hope and trust that you will come back next Sunday. Let us have a great time in the Lord. Come back and pray for those that were not here and pray for those that are not here today and pray for those that need to be here if they are home and pray for those that are at work that God will help them to have the day off on a Sunday. Let us pray for one another, not to just say something bad about them, but to pray for them that the Lord will protect them. Father, we thank you for your blessedness, O oh God. Thank you for your goodness. Thank you for the word that we, are, we have heard today. The light that you have placed in our lives to show that we are saved 
and to show that we can walk through the darkness of times not just like night but the darkness of life when problem comes our path that is our darkness but we shine the light of Christ when such trouble comes and situation get rough we shine the true light to see our path what to do and where to go when something confronted us and we do not know what to do that the light in us we turn it on and shine that light to take us out of our problem it's not just mean darkness like a night but Lord the light that we have is to take us through the night through the day through a rough time to good times we keep that light shining at all times nowadays they change their motor vehicles they said if you have certain insurance you have to drive with your light on and that is fact that is why I keep my light on at all times don't have to be night so we have to keep our light shining if the car can keep the light shining in the daytimes but it is a is a reason why the law wants you to do that if you have certain kind of insurance so help us to keep the light of Christ in our lives shine that wherever we go and something happen people will still see Christ in our lives because the way we treat it the way we handle it that means the light is shining but if we handle it in darkness we're going to do it badly we are going to handle it wrongfully but help us oh God to let your light shine into your light for God is our light Jesus Christ is the light of the world and if he turns this light off we are over it's finished for us but that light in Christ will always shine in our lives bless us continually bless the church bless the ministers bless and each and every one bless minister ranking as she's away and i pray for the speaker today oh god thank you for using her to speak to us in such a direct way that we can hear and understand i pray that you bless her fill her cover her again and lord as she as she push out what you have blessed her with and lord i pray that you will refill her that she will be when she get another chance to come back she will come back oh god with more of you with more word to give unto us help us oh god that we'll continue to study your word not just when we are going to preach it but continue to study it and your word become a part of our lives and make us stronger and make us capable of walking for you help us oh god to understand life is the best way to live when we have christ in our lives the wrong way to live it is when we have christ not in our lives when christ is not living in us then we do not know where life is going to place us where we're going to end up but when we have christ in our lives we know whatever happens if we leave this earth we will be coming home to be with you without any doubt so give us that principles and understanding that the only way we can make it through is with you bless us continually bless this church and bless the growth of this ministry and use us oh god to present your word to your people that they can understand and they will grow daily by day they will grow stronger and stronger keep everyone that is here today and as they are go, about to go home to their homes i ask that you'll take them safely to their homes and oh god tomorrow when they're going to work go with them protect them in the name of the father the name of the son the name of the holy spirit i pray for the offering today and the tithes lord bless it bless everyone that have to give and those that haven't got to give lord i pray that you provide for them that they'll be able to have to bless you help us to understand if we bless you then you will bless us when we show our love to you and show that you are capable to handle our situation and do your will then you will do what you need to do for us so help us oh god to bless this ministry in the name of the father in the name of the son the name of the holy spirit i commit it in your hand and the people of god say amen